They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first Women's Night Out of year number two. And of course, as always, Joey Blight. You just may have watched the juniors on the RPW Network. We have for now for Women's Night Out. We hope you will be liking it, and we'll see what's in store for tonight's matchups. Oh, look at that! Yeah, of course. It's time for fun. With the Raven, Mia Jenkins. Somebody call her mama. I love it. I really do. It's so much fun just swinging, dancing, you know. With, oh, great. What did I just say? <laughs> I always love it. Just look at that. So she's this great. Really, this is awesome. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. There's the women's champion, Ursula Neumann. Oh man, the foul sister of them all. The women's champion. Of course, that normally on display on fight night. Ursula Neumann starting a second reign as women's champion. And that has been two months ago once again. She's been keeping the title, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be scared for 150 days total. First reign lasted 91 days. Great is that. And of course, she surpassed anyone on the roster. Um, even the greatest one of them all, the first women's champion, Beth Phoenix. And guess who Beth Phoenix lost the women's title to? Correctly, Ursula Neumann. <laughs> and it's gone through the hands of really great women's champions even our referee Jessica Tunder has been a women's champion he took longest so with 71 days we've had Ivory, ODB, the Lady Soko twice Lita, Nikki Storm, Samurai, Mickey James Mia Jenkins in the twice, Dirty Erica, Victoria Melanie Gray and again there's Lenoiman so some great 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 days Oh, for the Women's Championship, long history behind that. But as always, you're trying to improve, and that might even result in uh, buying a title. You just never know how it can go. Oh, look at that! And that's it! Wow, slingshot move there. And your winner, Ursula Neumann. Wow, that went quick. Match lasted two and a half minutes. Wow. Dominant once again. She's unstoppable. Next is a four-way battle royal over the top rope for the number one contendership for the Glamazons Championship. Scheduled tonight as well, but they all won't be making the air. Where Risa vs. Junri Masantos and the team of Sarai Knight and Miriam vs. Nana and Evans. That will be up later airing on this week as a web special. Well, no, not at this moment. We're putting that in. That will be the web special of the week. Because we just simply don't have time to buy more on the network. No, but seriously. 
we've had a really busy schedule setting up these new shows and some of it just can't make the air you know some of them just aren't good enough in match quality or or they've run for 30 minutes which is quite possible but we can't show you that on air because we just don't have the time in the show for it oh look at that Hogberg's also gone Kugimiya at first now it's Hogberg so former Glamazons and junior women's champion and a two time women's champion look at Ashton and Lady Soko who's going to be the number one contender for the Glamazons title who's it going to be can Soka hang on? She hangs on. Climbs back. Now the one fight, one fight begins. This will be great. Later on, the extreme women's championship. Melanie Gray, who grasped that on war ground against Anaka Anderson, will be defending against Anaka Anderson, but this time in a tables match. Sean in the TLC match? Well, let's make a table tonight. That all at the hands of Sarai Knight. Look at that! Twist of fame! Oh, look at that. No, passed it up. Ashton now looking towards the ropes. I know she wants to be there, but she has to get her to it. And I'm really getting a call here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Now it's Ashton on the verge of elimination. No, stays in it. Again! Again! And the ladies, they call Soko. Can she become the number one contender for the Glamazons title? Oh, look at that suplex! Enjoy it! Enjoy it! That's all I have to say. Ashtar! Nearly. Oh no! Soko hanging on a tight balance! Oh, and she's out! Very disappointing, of course. Short replay, the twist of faith. You send him a gun. Well, in this case, you don't him a gun. But look at that! What a nice drop kick and your new number one contender for the Glamazon Championship is Luca Ashtea. Ashtea now running free from the juniors and she horned it. Next up the tables match for the Extreme Women's Championship. Let's light it up here tonight for the German Wrestler that is the Extreme Women's Champion, Melanie Gray. And to be precise, she is from Coburg, Germany. Former Women's Champion, as well as former Women's Tag Team Championship, Tag Team Champion, with her former partner, Honaka Anderson, who she'll be facing for the second time in a week for this Extreme Women's title. Soraya Knight actually stating as general manager of this show that it is vital for this championship to be defended quite an awful lot of times. Oh look at that! Fireworks! For the Japanese star, Honaka Anderson. And Honaka Anderson from a major Japan to be precise. Let's see what you can do here. What you see is what you get. That's a really nice statement. But let's see. Is Anaka Anderson the one to keep Melanie Gray off a title reign after two days? Maybe. 
You never know. Look at that. Stream Mims title in play. Tables match up. Here we go. Expect this match to go around in 10 minutes. You know, the ring time normally doesn't really last very long, so that's why I'm going to say 10 minutes. I have an estimate. Maybe 8, somewhere between 8 to 10. Because we know how vile Melanie Gray is. She knows how to play the game. Oh, man. Especially in these extreme conditions. So you've been there before. With Sarai Knight, for example. She knows how to play the game. But will she go in full attack? Will she go in defending mode? We'll have to see how that's going to span out throughout the match. What we do know? Wow. Okay then. She just got shoved by Hanaka Anderson. Okay then. Well, if that suits you nice, then you can do so. Nothing wrong in that. Just that stating that it didn't really make sense to me. But yeah, that's my opinion. I'm brutally honest, even on commentary. But this match is one that can end up in the books. We've seen more extreme uh, championship matches, including the first ever women's championship match in the Elimination Chamber at WrestleMania Season 1, 2014, uh, April that was. So a long time ago, nearly one and a half years. Oh, look at that. Now oh, look at that. Oh, oh. It's going for that other table. This one. Is this the one you want to be going for? You just never know. Anderson. Oh man, it's gonna hurt. Don't reckon many people on the table in between their gut. Just look at that. Take down. Anderson, no leaving the gap open. I don't know what's smart or what's not. I don't know. Here come the classic chance. Don't know whether that's fitting for the show, but still. They're there. Also that kind of fans. Oh man, missed it. It would have been an accurate striking opportunity to get Anderson through the table and retain the title for Melanie Gray. As you can hear, my nose really getting stuck right now. I'm so sorry about it. We'll try to keep off the talk and let the match speak for itself for a little bit. Oh man! That's gonna hurt your neck. That's all I can say about that. Backstabber. Well, if it weren't for the backstabber that Melanie Gray is, they wouldn't have been in this position. Well, they would have been anyway. Harvey Anderson made the match. Just thought this would be the best fit, best story, and it was. Just look at that. The friendship they have outside of the ring is still really, really good, really firm. But inside the ring, it's all out. 
Oh no, she missed the drop kick. And she's going to taunt that she missed. And a second time she connects, but not through the table. Not enough power. But now there is power. And agility. And in the table. Stop taunting and get it through the table. Gray, you making really good use of that. Oh, but not through the table. Missed it. She's going to rue that she missed that opportunity. Missed it. I'm not providing commentary on people barge in like that, like the director, for example. Doesn't really go well when you're providing the commentary, god damn it. Don't normally occur as I'm commentary, but I was very upset about that. It's got my gotta get back in my groove. And as you can hear, my words are going everywhere, but not the direction they should be going in. Shouting, you have to be more enthusiastic, but I'm not. I don't. I'm doing it my style, as I've always done. You've never complained. Just because I'm getting a minor cold? Shut up. Okay, I'm just gonna get me a warning. He's my way. Oh no, Gunderson! What a kick! But yes, you need to get that table, girl. Do you want to win? Then get her through that table. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Cross the head. Look at that. Take down. Look at that. No. One, two, three, and four. Oh, God. But that's not. And again, that's 12 kicks. Eight on the back, nine on the back section, and three on the back of the head. And now look at that. Oh, and she missed it. You could feel this was coming. She took too long. And she should have put it through the table. Melody Gray, no. Table fell down. Look at that double and a chuck slam. Set that table up again. Set the table up again. Or not. And just break it through it anyway. Oh look at that. Eat defeat. Set the table up. Exactly. Now push her through. Oh, look at that. When will she do it? Here we go. Turn around. Oh, with the face. With the face through the table. And it crashed down. Look at that. Eat the feet. Well, we see that again. Oh, just look at that. Through the table with the face. Here's your winner and still extreme women's champion and it shows why Money Gray. Thanks very much for watching. My name has been Joey Blight again on the RFW Network. Leave a like on the video, make a comment or subscribe.